the convex lens of focal length 8 meters, 8 centimeters is placed uh, to the left of a concave lens of focal length 6 centimeters. A parallel monochromatic light beam of diameter 1 centimeter is incident on the convex lens from the left as shown in the figure. The emergent beam of the concave lens will. Emerging beam maker, they ask us to draw that light. Distance between the two lenses, that's two centimeters. And the focal length of the convex lens is eight centimeters. So whatever the rays, they come, they are going to get converged after eight centimeters, right? I think everyone understands this. Actually, everyone should understand this. That it's going to get converged after eight centimeters from the convex lens. Make a theorem that in the back part of. So you can draw this. See, this is how you start to do this. Right? This length here, this has to be six centimeters. So you all should understand, you all should know this. Make a done and angle again back. Right? You can't say that you don't know this. Right. Then what? I think I better draw this somewhere else. Make a 2 ready. Too small, right? So I'm going to draw it here. So let's mark data here. This is two centimeters, and this has to be six centimeters. Now you all should understand this. You all should know this, right? You can't say that you don't know how to draw this, right? That's that's a big lie. So everyone can do this, right? Then what? Focal length of the concave lens is six centimeters. This one is two. May I, sorry, this one is eight. This one is six. So if a ray comes to a concave lens where it gets converged after six centimeters, where six centimeters it is its focal length. What happens after this? It's going to go parallel, right? So these are simple ray diagrams that you always draw in lenses, in optics. So if the ray comes to its uh, focus, right? if, if a ray comes to its focus on the other side of a concave lens, it goes parallel. Me done the race, ne? Done the race. So you have more than the ray diagram. So you can't say that you don't know how to draw this. Please don't say that, right? If you if you say that, means you are, you are not doing it. You're too lazy to do it, right? So you can't say that you do not know how to do this, right? So once you do this, the rest is uh, geometry. Let's see. Okay, so this is one centimeter. So if that is one centimeter, this has to be half of the centimeters, right? So I can get uh, this angle theta. I'm going to find this length x. That length x is what I'm going to find. Now the answer is always here. Answer is all. Um, already there right so the diameter has to be diameter here has to be less than one centimeter so answer is there parallel beam of diameter less than one centimeter answer four so we got the answer already but that's not the issue how to find x so let's find x so you can write tan theta tan theta comes here half divided by this whole length eight Half divided by the whole length eight equals to x divided by this length six. X divided by six. Right, it gets simplified now. So x is equal to three by eight centimeters. So two x can 
six by eight. 6 by 8 centimeters uh, or else we can say 3 by 2 centimeters so it's less than 1 0.75 centimeters damage is 0.75 of the imagined beam here right so these are simple questions guys these are not questions to worry about right it's a failure if you cannot draw a red diagram like this it's a failure so you, you don't have enough practice it means so please get the practice do the do this type of questions you can find a lot you actually can find a lot do that right these are like very easy questions drawing the diagrams and all 